Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. It's a girl do maybe Leah. If this is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. I do hope you decide to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys know that I love you. It's so good to have you here. Welcome back. So today's video is something that came across that made me kind of laugh. So a black man made a video and yeah. Some people are taking it really seriously and they say he's ready to desist towards white people while like black people can kind of relate to what he's saying and a lot of us i personally think he was just teasing but he was stating facts as well at the same time you know what let me go right ahead and play his video listen okay i'll give my money to homeless people all right if i see a homeless person walking they need some money if i have it i'll give it to them no problem but if you're white and homeless white and homeless see no i need a little more explanation i need a backstory on that because this shit don't even seem real so so you mean to tell me y'all had a, a a 400 year head start here and you still end up dropping the ball and now you asking me for money man get the fuck i know you because like being white and homeless at the same time is crazy now, i can see if you black and homeless okay because there's a lot of shit that might what happen right you might got kicked out your mother house your girl house or something you know you, you can't get a job, it's a little fucked up. You can't pass your drug test, you keep fucking up and shit. Maybe, maybe you've been through something. Here. Yeah. But white and homeless? All y'all need is a suit and a tie. And get on Indeed. Y'all be a damn astronaut tomorrow. So no, I don't want to hear it. I can only imagine what my ancestors are saying up there once I give this white person my money. I can only imagine it. Uh-uh. You know that's Sharonda boy, right? Girl, look at this. They is just down here doing anything. Oh my gosh. Couldn't be me. Gave him a crispy $10 bill. Could not be me. <laughs> so you guys first of all he has a sense of humor i checked his page and he does skits like that not usually like skits that are talking about race do but he does skits that are kind of hilarious and i think he's teasing because even in the caption of the video he has hashtag comedy but you know the way you can infuse something serious in a comedy skit that was kind of like what he did he's saying it in a way that is funny but he's still talking about white privilege right in america how much privilege palm color people get to the fact that he feels like when he sees a homeless one he doesn't even understand why or how they could be homeless in the first place so apparently a lot of palm color people are not happy with that video and they are saying he's ready to desist and a lot of black people are like oh we're all thinking it but you said it like a lot of people are like they usually think that way whenever they walk past a homeless person down the street so well i'm just going to go right ahead and play people's stitches and commentary to his video I do not know what is wrong with TikTok in my stitch today, but if you can't hear what he said, he is stating that he will give his money to homeless people. If you ask him, he got it. I'm, I'm not the one. I'm not the one for that, but I will support if I can. But his main point is that if it is a if it's a white person and they're homeless, he wants to know the backstory of how they got there. And I. I'm willing. I, I agree. I agree because I want to know how you had the cheat codes and you managed to fuck it up. I mean, you came from the society of people that built the construct to keep people of color down beneath your feet and everything else. And you are asking me for money. You're asking me for assistance. Y'all, that's fuck that shit triggered me it triggered me because i will never forget when i was in reno nevada and i was watching these homeless people i had watched them because down there they're a whole different kind of breeding if you're not prepared then people will run up on you and try to take from you what is rightfully yours right or I don't know they, they're, they're just real weird and they really they really will encroach upon your personal space so i like i said i watched these people they were sitting on the side of the road uh and if you've been in it, like it's real clean you can sit down or i mean you're not supposed to but they were sitting down on the sidewalk and i'm walking doo -doo 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 -doo, and i had watched them they had let this walk by they didn't say anything to him no excuse me sir they didn't jiggle no hat in front of his weight nothing they let that man go by then i saw barbara walk by too barbara got to walk by in peace didn't hold up no sign didn't bojangle nothing in front of her no her held up sign no nothing when i walked by do you know that they had the capacity to ask me for some money 
They had the capacity to feel that they were so emboldened enough to assume that I was going to be in an Aunt Jemima position and take care of them. Yes, and I really felt some type of way and was offended. And honey, let me tell you, I blessed the shit out of them. And I asked them, what the fuck do you think this is? Because I watched y'all let them people walk by and you didn't say anything to him. But you let my black ass right over here walk on over here and you decided to ask me for some money like I was supposed to feel emboldened to help you. I don't give a about you. I want to know why you're here. I want to know how did you fuck up your position in society and now you're asking me for money. Hmm? This ain't 1846. I don't have to take care of you. It don't even make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. So if TikTok is mad at him, you're going to be mad at me too because I really wonder that myself. How do y'all be white and homeless? How do y'all fuck up when you have the fucking cheat code? You all built this society the way that it is. And then you have the nerve to fuck up and be homeless? What? Make it make sense. The internet is mad at this TikToker for being supposedly racist towards white people. I don't know what that hopefully the guy is trolling i doubt he is he seems like he's serious but let's say let's pretend he is being serious this is one of the worst reasons i heard to not want to give money to a homeless person just say you broke and you don't got it it's that simple right so just because they white and they homeless you don't want to help them out right and then he tries to go and they're like well you know if you black i can understand like what the type of shit is that you act like all black people live the same type of life <laughs> and it like what so you downplay white people but end up like going like well if you black i mean you know it may more it make more sense for you to be homeless because you black like what but still that's one of the worst reasons i heard to not help a homeless person now Everybody don't got it all the time to help out a homeless person. I understand that. There's some people who do have it and just walk right past them. Do what you want. It's up to you. But this is one of the worst reasons I heard. Like, just, bro, just say you don't got it. It's that simple. God. <laughs> yeah, but um, silly take. But if he's joking, I mean, it was kind of funny. But if he's being serious, yeah. The internet is mad at this TikToker for being supposedly racist. So this definitely makes me question the reality of your world and how much you really know. So let me ask you, brother, would you blame a young person, a young white person that was born into a drug infested house, raised by nothing but drug addicts and now is homeless and has zero support? Or what about the teenage girl that was, you know, released into society after being in one foster home after another? Now she's being human trafficked. Now she's being human trafficked and addicted to drugs. Again, has no support. I work with homeless people all the time. And I see a lot of white homeless people. And I promise you this, their reasons are valid. The fact that you think it's funny tells me you have no idea. You have never bothered to even take a look. That's not a good look on your brother. You've make it real obvious that you wouldn't have a clue. You wouldn't walk into a homeless camp at all. The internet is mad at this TikToker for being supposedly racist towards white people. I don't know what- Um, I've been following Avante since he was on, like, um, Facebook. So, funny young man. But I'm gonna tell you I agree with what he's saying, 100%. And I do the same thing. I don't give them my money either, because I feel the same way he does. Um, I grew up in a white affluent neighborhood, so I didn't grow up with poor white people, I guess, or homeless. Didn't really see that until I was an adult. And I was highly offended because I feel the same way he feels. You had a four or five hundred year head start. Um, you wiped out a lot of other races. If you weren't wiping them out... You were oppressing them or making them slaves using your privilege. And I've actually said that to a grown woman. And she looked at me like she had no idea what I'm talking about. So me growing up as a little girl, I was treated like crap by grown ass white people as a little girl. A little girl growing up, 
just growing up, living my life, growing and learning, trying to figure out why these grown ass people are being racist towards me. And I'm not just talking people that live in my neighborhood. I'm talking about people, my teachers, the principals, professionals at my school. Because I was the only black girl in the school. So, with that being said, black people, is he being prejudiced? Am I being prejudiced? Maybe so. Are we being racist? Not at all. Not at all. Because the white privilege, it still exists to this day. Look at the statistics of the number of black men that are incarcerated for the same crimes as white men. And they tend to get more time. Same crime, different sentences. How many times have we watched videos of black people being racially profiled? White people are not racially profiled. So you don't know what that means. Racially profiled? Racist? Like, what? Sir, he's a younger man voicing his opinion. And I'm probably old enough to be Avante's mom. I'm 54. I have seen the race. I have lived through the race. Okay, so let me tell you about where I live at now. I've owned my home for 10 years. These white people were so mad that I bought the biggest house on the block. They tried to get me kicked out of my house. Kept calling the township. Oh, she ain't cut her lawn. She ain't do this and she ain't do that. Horrible. Horrible. So you can't tell me that this is not true because I have lived it. I agree with him. Have I been prejudiced? I don't know if I'm being prejudiced or I'm just treating people the way they deserve to be treated. Like, why should I give certain people my money that I worked hard for, that I have to work twice as hard than my counterpartners just to give you my money? No, I'm not doing it. But what gets to my heart, the only people I really help are children. Because I feel like grown people can, you go and beg, beg for a job. I do help children, homeless children, children in need. Yes, that's about it. And that's not being prejudiced. I don't help any adults. But I certainly don't help white adults. Because you really do have a privilege you are treated differently when you walk into the store. You're When you get a job, you are treated differently. Is it right? No, it's not right. It's not right at all. But this is the world that we live in. This country was built on racism. Towards white people. I don't know what that is, but listen. What What do you mean by that? First of all, I'm going to point that out. That, that pops up when I get aggravated. What do you mean by supposedly? I don't know who's more wrong in this thing. Dumb or dumber. Why is it okay to be like racist against white people? And if you think you can't be, listen to the root word of racism. It's race. So if you want to judge any group based on their race, that is racism. I don't care if it's pink hearts, orange stars, yellow moon, blue diamonds, green clovers. Yes, I had to write that down. That's a lot to remember. <laughs> but we're judging by actions. I don't care about the color of your skin. I'm judging off the content of your character and how you treat people, how you treat me. You know I mean, like I don't care about the rest of that bullshit. But back to the back to them too. What, what do you mean by supposedly though? My I'm biracial. My son is biracial. He looks predominantly white. So you're saying it's okay to be racist as well? or any person that might be at that? Have you lost your goddamn mind? Excuse me, Lord. But anyways, man, like. Jesus loves you, bro. Do better. Oh, yeah. And like Ferris Bueller said, I don't like any ism. Isms are generally bad. But you have a great day. Listen, okay? I'll give my money to homeless people, all right? If I see a homeless person... So I live in Oklahoma, and the homeless right here is... It's, it's up there, but it's not as bad as some other states. Well, I go on a certain side of town because, well, my son, he goes to daycare out there. And there's a lot of homeless people around there. And it's 
particular homeless person, this white guy, just call him uh, Billy. I'm going to say Billy. <laughs> uh, so I like to keep him private because he's actually a really good down generate person. And he is white and he is homeless. And every time I try to, I catch him on the street, I try to give him something and help him whatever possible I can help him with. Anything I can help him with. I, but I for sure remember the the words he told me. Uh, one time I um, was doing some stuff for him, getting him some groceries and stuff. And he told me, he said, listen, I'm going to tell you this now because you're a little like a really down to earth person that don't mind helping us homeless people out here. I'm going to tell you this. Do not help all of m white folks like like himself, um, homeless people, because all of them ain't got no reason to be homeless. It's, it's a, he, he, he went into more deeps, but I'm not going to make this video long. And, and he was like, I wouldn't even care if you stop helping me now. But he's one of the mm -hmm. few who Caucasian homeless people that is genuinely homeless and he has he told me his story i didn't even ask for his story he told me his story because you know when you see any homeless person you want to know what the reason for otherwise you, you know some people won't just help them but he told me personally he was like listen there are caucasian people out here that i heard their stories from another homeless person to another homeless person and i think it's complete bullshit and i was like oh well damn and so i, I took that and i ran with that he was like if you ask me please if you don't help any homeless person like that's caucasian do do me this go help them brown and black people that are homeless because they genuinely need the help and he said and then he said the number one homeless person i should help is a mother that is homeless because a mother that's homeless have kids that are homeless and god knows i am a mother and i'll be damned if i see them homeless I, that's not it's just not gonna fly with me i'm gonna help them i really i'm not taking him seriously i think he was funny and i don't think he's ready to desist i think the reason why people are feeling that way is because they feel like oh why would you want to help a homeless person of another race and not help a palm colored person but what they are kind of ignoring is the fact that he's stating how much privilege palm colored people have that it doesn't make sense why they shouldn't have at least an average kind of life right to me i choose to not even just see from the point of view of maybe a palm colored person might have grown up in a family that is dysfunctional and thereby they didn't have good values they didn't have right education and all whatnot i think i'm choosing more to look at it from the aspect of how easy it is to pick up your life as a palm colored person now i'm not saying they don't have challenges i'm just saying if you were to make a decision that you want to change your life there are opportunities that you can easily tap into because of the white privilege that is available to you because of the color of your skin unlike a black person or other people of color in america the different opportunities that you're going to be able to access as a palm color person a lot of these other people of color have no access to that so you always have that advantage that's the way i choose to look at what he's saying but all in all i personally feel like if you have that giving spirit if you are a charitable person you may just you know give without thinking about the color of the person's skin usually when i give i give as my spirit tells me but then i still admit that i don't just give any homeless person or any beggar that i come across on the street for instance if i were to see someone who is handicapped asking for arms on the street and i see a full-grown person that is just sitting down and asking for arms they have their full body complete where they can actually do something no matter how little i'll be more inclined to help the handicapped person same way if i see a person that looks like he has drowned himself in alcohol and he's begging me on the street for money and if i were to give him some money he very likely was going to go and use it to buy more alcohol or drugs or whatever i very likely would not be inclined to give that person money so i definitely understand the concept of choosing who you decide to help or scrutinizing who you decide to help and then it's a personal decision if you decide to help people of color because you feel like they have it harder in society that is understandable and if you decide that you don't mind helping anybody regardless of their skin color that is also understandable it's your money and you decide to choose how you spend it so the question now is does race play a role in who you decide to help 
does that mean you are rich to the cyst? you guys let me know because i think that is the bone of contention here with what he said because we know that white privilege doesn't necessarily guarantee wealth but to a large extent it guarantees the opportunities that are open to you in a country that basically thrives and was built on white privilege and white supremacy so i want to know what you guys think do you agree with what he said or do you disagree have you ever you know thought the same way that he did like when you see a palm colored homeless person are you like mm -mm. why is this person homeless i'd rather do for a person of color to help or do you just help any homeless person who is in need of help regardless of their skin color please be sure to share in the comment section and then do you think that the guy's original video was rated to the cyst or prejudiced please let me know please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye